Hey guys, what's up? So this week we're going to be talking about something that we've kind of struggled with a lot in the past. Um, it's re it's really important not for just our kind of team 5v5s, but also individually in your in your solo queue, which is individual win cons. How do I identify them? How do we how do we adapt to them? So first of all, this is a fucking complicated topic. It was not my idea to do just individual. I just wanted to skip to team win cons, but this shit is complicated. There is a lot to it. So we're going to break it down like one at a time. You know what? You might be asking like, is it really that complicated? Is our win cons really that I mean, yes, yes they are. I mean, they're there are individual early game win cons, there are team early game win cons, individual late game win cons, team late game win cons, winning winning win conditions versus losing win conditions for every single one of those. There are 11 different champion types, over 175 champions, and 1,291,150,035 different team comp combinations. Each one of them have like six different win cons within them. Fuck all of that. But you, you will have to learn, uh, like, two of them. Uh, but that's all I ask. So, your job is to know your individual win cons. Um, as well as, uh, as well as your enemies, your laners, or the enemy junglers. Uh, you typically, on, on a typical champion, you have two win cons. Your ultimate win con, and your setup win con. The ultimate is what you want to be able to do in a perfect world. In the, the big team fight or 35 minutes of the game, you have your items, you're strong, what are you doing? That is your ultimate win con. And then the setup win con. How do you do that? <laughs> um, the ultimate win con doesn't typically change, while the setup changes a lot based on, uh, based on who you're laning against in the typical state of the game. So, just some examples. Kennen and Phil Six. I mean, they need to get strong enough to dive the back line. That's their ultimate win con. And how that translates to a setup win con? Well, Kennen needs to stay alive in lane. If he's dying a whole bunch, she can't. Uh, he can't do that. And Fiddles needs to have ward control in his in his diving areas. Uh, someone like Oriana, Syndra, Syndra, and Vagar, they need to be able to carry fights with their ultimate. They need to get one big ultimate off in it. It destroys everyone. And this involves a lot of clearing waves and not letting mid turret fall. Uh, that, that's one thing that we haven't really been focusing on is making sure that mid turret stays up, especially with, with mages or ADCs that need to farm. Uh, mid turret is it can be a really strict win con. Uh, and then another example, Lulu and Kogma, they just need to scale safely, which involves very simply not dying in lane. So it, it ranges a lot in complexity, in timings, um, a lot of that stuff. More examples to help hit this, this thing home. Aurelia Yasso said they need to be able to pressure side lanes in order to rotate, start numbers fights, or even take objectives. Um, and to be able to do this, they need to 1v1 or 1v2 in a lane. If they, if the enemy picks someone who counters that, who... Uh, doesn't allow them to 1v1 uh, or can, you know, out-duel them, then they're not going to be effective. Kane wants to take as many skirmishes as possible. He wants to dive. He wants to have the 2v2s, the 3v3s. That's where he shines. So he should sit by split pushers to counter gank anyone that comes to comes for the split pusher and also force skirmishes by diving laners and that sort of stuff. Sivir and Kamra, they want to create pressure. They have a lot of wave clear. They can shove waves really fast. Uh, and they can really stall out fights. How do they do this? It involves just sitting mid. Uh, it, uh, like I said, it really does m change a lot in complexity. So these are the three questions that I need you guys to remember. Like the, if You can ignore all of this if you really want to. But remember these three things. Fights, landing, and pressure. Every champion has different levels of of fighting, laning, and pressure, like what they want to do with those things. Um, there are three types for each of the categories. For example, fights, there's 1v1s, so this would be like Trinomir. Trinomir really likes the 1v1s. Uh, skirmishes and dives, this is like going back to like Kane, um, you know, Wukong, and then team fights, so those who like the really big stuff. This would be like Oriana, this would be uh, Jinx. Uh, laning, uh, the three are take turret, go even in Rome, take turret would be like uh, Caitlyn, Ziggs, uh, Go Even is, you know, someone like Sivir, and, um, Roaming would be, uh, would be someone like, like, Anivia against, uh, against champions who would, who would let her do that. The jungle equivalent to this is invading, farming, or ganking. 
Uh, and then pressure, high, medium, or low. High is is something like a Fiora. Medium is more of like assassin characters or characters who aren't super weak but aren't super strong. And low is like Kogma. Um, so I need you to be able to identify these for each of your champions. So if I ask you, okay, what is, what's your fighting laning pressure for this champion? If I ask you what that is, you should be able to to answer with just a few minutes of thinking. Uh, here are some examples. I'm not going to go over all of them, but if you're kind of, st it, it's part of the, it's part of the the quiz today. So, um, if if you're struggling a little bit, you're not quite sure how it works. Here's some examples. Go ahead and pause and figure it out. Uh, speaking of which, of course, the link that you know and love. Um, go to go to this tiny tinyurlcom slash wincons. There's a quiz. There are right and wrong answers for this one. Um, so you'll be able to get live feedback on how well you did. Shouldn't take too long. Um, sorry for this being late, uh, but it is, it is a rather short one. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. So, um, have a good weekend and try and get this done as soon as you can.